After five months, we're back to Mass Effect 2. We, we've been playing through the Mass Effect series on this channel. Uh, Mass Effect 1 was you and I and Dave. And Dave was such a goddamn backseat driver, we kicked him out of the playthrough for Mass Effect 2. <laughs> but then we took five months off to do Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff, and we just haven't gotten back to it. So now we're here. Um, one of the reasons that this stream is late tonight is because I spent a bit of extra time putting together this new background here. This is the 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 planet, uh, the rotating planet from Mass Effect, the Mass Effect series. And it, it rotates for about an hour, then it resets. So that's gonna be um, that's gonna be the background for this series. I think some other games gonna do that for as well, like put in like a like a, a background that's not just a blur. Um, maybe Kingdom Hearts when we do that on Thursday, you know. That's Earth, you mongoloid. <laughs> I don't think it's Earth. I don't think it's Earth. It'd be funny if it was Earth, because it works because, you know, we're humans. Well, no, here, here. I'll, I'll, I'll just take away the game for a minute. Look at this. Look at, look at this. See, oh. it's a planet back there. That's, that's, okay, the moon isn't that close to the goddamn Earth. That's not Earth. Well, maybe it's just a, uh... Dude, we're, like, flying through space on a couch. Yeah. Dude, I, th I think Elon Musk shot us up here. That's ah. probably what happened. Here, I'll bring the game back. Ah. There's the game. Dev, you're in space. Okay, so we're playing kind of a homely looking shepherd. Yeah. Remember? You know I created her to be like semi realistic, but also <laughs> not super duper attractive. That's why she's in the military. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no you know offense what? to any attractive military woman in the world. I mm -hmm. have given up on having an opinion about bald dev, to be honest, because the very first time I ever saw a bald dev, I was so turned off that I almost cried. Are you serious? <laughs> you didn't tell me this. Hold on, hold on. Is, this, is this the truth? Uh, I didn't almost cry. Are you still turned off? I was. Like, when I first saw you, now I'm not. Now I don't care. Okay. Yeah. No, you know what, guys? I've been thinking about it, and when I lose weight to get back down to 180, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grow my hair long again. Because I, 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 when, I, when I'm thin, I look good with long hair. When I'm fat, I just look bad all the time, so I might as well just be comfortable. Okay. The helps are the... Um, Yes, they're the loyalty missions. The loyalty yes, missions. I remember. That's DLC. Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of this was loyalty missions in DLC that we were that we were doing here. I think this was like a main mission though, acquire Reaper I have. F. I think that's a DLC as well. Oh really? Project Overlord is not the DLC. Yeah. Take a cab to Liars, that's a DLC. And Zaid's a D and Zaid is okay, so I guess. Let's do. I was gonna go you will always Kali. look like shit. Thanks. I'm close. Oh, Reaper Kali, IFF right? is the primary mission. Yeah. Uh, go back. Plot. Yeah, I'm over here. Okay, I'm. By let's the way, go I'm, help tell. I gotta say, I miss this fucking music. You, you, you listen just, to it all the fucking time. Have you noticed that I do? Yes. Have you actually noticed that when I'm editing, I turn on this music for uh, for editing purposes? Yes. Like in the background. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go help Tally. By the way. Um. Okay, it looks okay. Dev fro. Yeah, there's okay. Oh guys. shit, are we gonna visit the migrant fleet? Oh, cool. that's right, we can. Uh, is this two suns? Don't fly through them. Yeah. The shielding can't take Ooh, it. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. No, right. I love you guys. You guys are great. However, I will say that I understand the criticism about my hair. It'll grow back for fuck's sake. Hair grows back. I'm not that bald yet. A fleet of five, of 50, 550,000 craft. Jesus. Holding over 17 million quarians. The migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. Though quarians and pilgrims have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever set foot inside the quarian ships. You guys ready? Let's go. Whoa. Which installment of the series turned SJW? Mass Effect Andromeda. Definitely turned to Matt. <laughs> That sounds pretty af accurate, African. I was going to say African. <laughs> let, let a woman drive for five minutes and she immediately drives into the core of a binary star. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Naomi. <laughs> Are you going to play us? We're still missing a character, that's right. Are we? Yeah, see, there's one there. Well, shit. So we have to play as Tally. Yeah. And she's like a pure tech person, right? Yes. So who do you want to bring along to compliment her? Like, isn't Katsumi really overpowered? The thief girl, like the master thief? Yeah, but I'm worried about her not having, like, very good weapons. Like, she 
She can only use like both pistols, right? Oh no, she Garrus uses shotguns. A... Yeah. What? Pistols and shotguns. Well, oh, shit. It. AI hacking, energy drain, and a drone. Okay, just out of curiosity. Oh, this might be neat. Okay, of use of these characters, who do you like personality-wise the most? Him. Yeah, I like I like Garrus, I like Tally, and I like Morden. They're the most interesting, like those three. They're really interesting. Like, I Samara, like Samara too. Samara's just like whatever. She's just like mommy boobs. Yeah, it's uh, great. <laughs> My favorite part. Actually, I'm actually I think I'm gonna actually take her along. Oh, you are okay, <laughs> dude. So, do you think when, when Liara like meets her mom, um, Benezia? She, oh yeah, put it, put in your points. When, when when Liara meets up with Benezia, is she just like mommy and like runs over and just like nuzzles her face into her boobs? Goose. And just like blah, 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 mommy boobs. Why? You think that's what it's like? I don't. <laughs> you think what the fuck, Dad? <laughs> dude, dude, why not? Mom, that feel what the when, hell is wrong with that you? That feel when mommy GF. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you, you, think they, you think they moat about each other? Like it's just part of their culture? It's not even a sexual thing for the SRE, it's just part of their culture that they moat about each other? No? What the fuck? Dude, as it turns out, Due to the the intricacies and the, the unique intricacies of Asari biology, they don't their their boobs just keep getting bigger with age. So like a thousand year old Asari just have like massive like boobs that are like this big. Are you into that? They're just constantly expanding. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're joining Tally's place. Quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Let's dock up. Just like one of my Japanese mangoes. Mangoes. Hey, Tally. There's a whole bunch of tallies. <laughs> Dude, the fucking... Tally's the 36 is really chugging problems. to play this game, isn't it? Yeah. We should be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. <laughs> Naomi, look at that fucking... Look at this picture. There's me. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help, Tally. The trial requires <laughs> that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a what? secret project. Oh, That's shit. insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I what? only sent parts and pieces. Well. I don't really care why she sent parts and pieces. Do I want to care? No. Let's Save Tally's little to quest to get the Flask Companion. That's something else adds a lot to her story. Okay. okay. It's too late. We're already here. <laughs> So, this is the loyalty quest, guys. This ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. You want to reset it? You probably should, last. honestly. I have the guy. I think I know what, she's, what, 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 what he's talking about. We should probably reset the game and do somebody else. Do something. Else. Yeah, let's. All right. Let's just reset the game. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> it's okay. You just gotta press the A. On Mass Effect 2 and start the game again. It's okay. You can't blame me for this. I didn't fucking know. I blame you. We have all the DLC. Skip. I don't care about you, Bioware. Hmm. Welcome. Well, I'm just gonna restart the episode. Welcome back to Mass Effect. Um, Shut the fuck up. Space, Shut up. It's space. It's massive. And I'm affected by <laughs> I love that pun. <laughs> okay, let's actually play this fucking game. You're stupid and I hate you. Yeah, we're actually playing it on 360, dude. We have all three games on the, on the 360. Females shouldn't be allowed to play video games. Fuck you, Mr. Womans can't be video games. Fuck you, I'm gonna start calling you Mrs. <laughs> GD. Yes, we know you are massive. Fuckers. Did you get that juice, by the way? It was on sale, that's why I grabbed it. I know that you're, you're a juice fan. Okay, can you not... 
like, weirdly lick your juice. <laughs> play some Modern Warfare too. Just play all the old 360 games. It's weird to think that the 360 is an old console now. It doesn't feel it. You know? But it's two generations behind now. Actually, no. Okay, you know what's really funny? I was one time playing Sudoku um, just in the break room before mm -hmm. I started my shift yeah, at yeah. work. And the old manager came back, came in, and she was like, what are you playing? And I was like, oh, I'm just playing Sudoku. She was like, why don't you fucking play Candy Crush or something? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> why would I play Candy oh, Crush? Dude, you want to do Help Samara? We can do that one. We can help, you can do some Mars, you, you want to take her anyway, right? So you, we can do some Mars mission. Um, hold on. We have a 360 that still works. We have two 360s that still works. Actually, you know what? Uh, okay, I'm done, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. something. <laughs> okay, we have, we have a 360 that still works. We have, like, what, what is that, like a 360 Elite? It's like a black model? I have a Generation 1 Xbox 360 that black still works. Black model? I don't fucking know. Oh, I hey, I have look, a... we're back at the Omega 4 relay. Don't go through it, because you're going to die. So Into if... another sun, you ready? Yeah, zero. Oh, okay, so... Oh, you're just going to fly through planets now? Is that... And an asteroid belt. I have a Generation 1 360 that still works. Didn't, didn't, didn't get the red ring. Can you fucking go to the Omega, please? Thank you. Duck. That was a yawn. I was joining... I joined the room. Uh, 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 hey, Mr. JD, uh, I still have the Blades interface on mine too, like the... Instead of having like all the but buttons like Dave's does here, it has like the, the sliding like half circles, you know what I mean? No. The original 360 interface? Near a circle. Are you serious? You know what I mean? No, I never had one. Fuck you have the place with the original size model? Start your car. Yeah, that guy, the guy who lives downstairs. He, he, he's, he's like out in the driveway revving up his vehicle and he can't fucking oh. get it started. You actually repaired my Red Ring 360. How did how'd you do that? Awesome. That's like insane. You're a god. Do you know about the Red Ring 360? Yes. The Red Ring of Death. You actually know about that? Yes. Death. Oh, damn. I mean, I guess you are like an Xbox fagoot, so makes sense, huh? You know, seriously, <laughs> you were an Xbox kid. Yeah, I was. And I was Nintendo, and Dave was a Sony. Everyone's a Sony. Wasn't she also techie? Yeah, Kasumi is techie, but she's also overpowered. But you can use her if you want. Yeah, let's use the two hottest women in my party with. Can these. I send you my Xbox Elite as a donation? I mean, you can, but I won't, like. Do it! I want all the Xboxes ever. We already have two. It'd be a waste. I want all of them. We do not have a Model One PS3. Our PS3 is like a PS3 Mini. Ah. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. You might want to save points till you can get her, her flashbang. I don't, I don't know. Do whatever you like, I guess. I don't think it matters too much. It was a very complicated procedure that involved heating the unit to, to desolder components and adding heat mm. sinks. That sounds terrible. Mm. It's literally just like a difference in numbers. <laughs> it's just like whatever. <laughs> I don't really care about a flashbang grenade that much. Wait, the best the best part of the Xbox 360 is plugging the into the controllers into a much better PC. Yeah, whenever you play a PC game, you always use a 360 controller. Can I send you my broken PS3 as a donation? Yeah, sure. I'll blow it up on. I'll do a video where I, I put TNT in it and blow it up. I don't remember if I need to change any weapons, but that's okay. To me to pinpoint an Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari. Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Do you remember the Ardak Yachia? Weren't they the bad? The, no, they're the sterile Asari who can't have kids, and like when they fuck people, they leave them in a vegetative state, right? Yep, yes. That's them, yeah. yeah. And apparently there's one on the station. No, yeah, who, and it's Sam and the Samara's daughter, right? Yep. Yes. It's like, it's like a genetic abnormality, and they usually live in monasteries, and like, and they lead like religious lives. But this one has decided to Where basically is my leave. People? Uh, there, they they're, are. there they are. Well, dude, dude, they're both stealthy, so of course they're gonna sneak around. Okay. <laughs> a local subreddit man was arrested for violent acts when you oh, accidentally oh, sent a bunch yeah. of houses on fire and attempted to enjoy his mm -hmm. console in a fit of rage. No. That's me. Nope. Nope. What are you doing? What are you trying to do? Are you expecting me? Oh. Oh. 
Are you okay? No. What's wrong? Is something not work? No, I just couldn't remember what button the map was. There it is. Afterlife entrance. I don't know. So I remember where we're going. Afterlife is Aria Tulok's bar. Yes, I know. Yep. Would you play D and D with your chat one day? Possibly. Hey, pretty bitch. Hey, let's get ourselves some blue alien pussy. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her <laughs> last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Go to the tenements, okay. You change capacitors in your SNES. Good luck finding I haven't had to do that yet. I have like a Better Gen 1 SNES. My, my, my parents got it for me when I was like fucking six or five or something. Where? It still runs just fine. The tent in the, I think it's in the, the apartments down there. It's like all the way over there. It's on the other side of the station. <laughs> this is no DS9, I'll tell you that. Apparently on Star Trek Online, DS9 is actually not that good when you go to it. Mm. Yeah, they didn't really do it to scale properly. It looks like the fastest way might be through just going back the way we came. Yeah, I think so too. Well, no blue pussy from her, but I'm sure we'll get some blue pussy eventually. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Naomi, what if... Naomi. Naomi. What if the Asari don't even have blue pussies? They have something better. Something better than pussies. It's better than a pussy. I don't know, like a mouth? They just have like a blowjob mouth down there? Nah, teeth was a, teeth was a movie. No, 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 without the teeth. Just like the perfect blowjob mouth. What if there's like 12 mouths? Uh, and they're all just like... I don't think that's better. What if they have like, like 12 tentacles that just come out and like wrap around your dick? I don't have a dick, so that would be good for me. Okay, they can tentacle fuck you. I don't know. <laughs> Is this the apartments? Where the fuck are we? You've been in Xaver's room too much? Is this the apartments? Blue dick pussy. What if they have a dick? Yeah, a, a lot of Asari porn out there just makes them have, a, like, giant dicks. I think it'd be nice if they had both a dick and a vagina. Yeah. 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 Is this the apartments? Is this the apartments? I think so. You're pretty close. It's like, hey, are you Diana? Apparently you're Diana. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. Because you're on Omega, you idiot. Go back to Earth. Hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. Your baby was a degenerate having sex with blue women? Too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Aria's people? I don't, we're not. We don't work for Arya. I'm looking into this on my own authority. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. That's you true. That's also boy pussy. I'll help you however <laughs> I can. True enough. I think it's weird that straight guys sometimes call guys asses boy pussy. Uh, I don't. That sounds completely. Yeah, this is Naomi's first playthrough. Have a lot of friends. Yeah. Not a lot. No. Mario next Sunday. Most of Mario tomorrow probably the thing. Not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks though. Morinth. Yeah, that's, that that was Samara's daughter's name is Morinth. I remember this now. What a fucking terrible name for an Asari Morinth. She yeah. kept dragging Neff out to clubs and I'm pretty sure she Dude, I can't wait to drugs. fuck those Asari brain tentacles. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? Oh, Mario movie. That's probably on Saturday. The drugs are just Mario game tomorrow. The club. Loves the base. She's a hedonist. What's a hedonist? So this morning did hurt my daughter? Uh, someone who's like she the one that just pursues that pleasure for pleasure's sake without the, the without any kind of moral this. consideration. We swear. So that like you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll, parties. I hope so. Complete self-destruction. I hope so. 
But Mario game, probably 3D World on the Wii U. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I mm. never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. Well, that, that's, that's what it's like me. when you when you, when you you fucking Asari. They get those brain tentacles into your brain, and that's how it is, man. Do you think those, like, the, the, the brain tentacles get longer, particular. too? She like, do they flare when you're banging them or something? Do they get involved? Probably not. Well, when we banged Liara in the first game, it was all telepathic. Her eyes went black, right? Yeah. I was like, I think you need to pass. Yeah, they're just controlling nervous systems. Yeah. Yeah. She's, isn't she jacking in somehow? She just seemed. Well, no, wait. Tired. Can Asari like accidentally get pregnant? No way. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Neff. What kind of a girl was your daughter? A salute. Well, Neff had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and oh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative. How so? She was Jesus, a sculptor. Yeah, see, that's the, I, I think that's really weird, Mr. JD. Like, it's just like in their head. Like, I don't, I just, I just, I don't know. I don't get it. It's like, just come to terms with the fact that you're fucking a boy's ass. Or just an ass in general. Like, you if you can fuck a female's ass, you can fuck a boy's <laughs> ass and call it an ass. Like, I don't understand. Why? Also, they're not super straight if they're fucking a dude, but there's that. <laughs> asses are asses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Morality 2018. Yeah. And nothing will fix that. Those are some terrible looking tears. This game has not aged the perfect. The most, like, okay. I would love an HD remake of these games with like a update to their HUD interactments. I want to say that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Guys. Well, so so you want something like the Phoenix Wright trilogy then? I'll examine her things. Yeah. Okay. So so here, find the password to enter and investigate out Afterlife's VIP club. Okay. Okay, so let me put it this way. Oh, um, Naomi, this you haven't played Phoenix Wright yet, and we, I think it's in there. You, you have not played Phoenix Wright yet, and we are going to play it on the show, you and I. Are we? Um, but it was... Let me, let, me set, let me set the stage here. Okay. Dude, take, take the fucking money. <laughs> like, get, get off the station. There's a dust cloud in the room. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Man, fucked her so hard she went into a coma. You want to read these? I'll tell you the, uh, the Phoenix Wright story in a minute, guys. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I'm saving for a nose job. <laughs> She's so like, read it. Oh, your daughter was a druggie. With a hunger, a druggie. Most artists are into drugs and stuff anyway, so. Yeah. Read the newest entry. It's not that cycle forty two orbit sixty seven. Heart heart heartbreaking. Because whatever happens. She she knows that fucking people kills ever. them. Like <laughs> No no no, she doesn't know. That's why it's heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, but no but Morinth knows. Like Morinth's evil. Yeah. She's she's evil. Yeah. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Aww. Well, you did fucking die, so this is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Lesbians make oh, everything sparks, good and better. She she especially man lesbians. And sex appeal. 
and she's trying. She's got quite the boob window, have you noticed? <laughs> yeah. Like, my complaint... You comment on this every time. Okay, hold on. My complaint from the first Mass Effect <laughs> game is that there was no boob window, mm -hmm. like in any of the armor. Mm -hmm. Even though it doesn't make sense because, like, it's space. Like, it space, has to be. there shouldn't be any. No, just like plexiglass. It's like, guys, hear me out. Space suit. Sealed. Plexiga plexiglass square for boobs, right here. Wouldn't that be perfect? No. Like Power Girl style? No. <laughs> you, know, you guys don't want a plexiglass boob window? <laughs> She sounds more like a highly evolved killer. How come defective. everything about this goddamn Condition episode so far has just been about boobs? About Asari breasts? Perhaps it is symbiotic. <laughs> Those are like placed really low in her body. Have you noticed that? That's kind of weird. I keep looking at that. I just keep them thinking. You haven't noticed that all Asari have lower boobs? Really? You haven't noticed that yet? No. no they're, they're, like, they're like down like here, man. Yeah. I think it's just part of their species. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Imagine if my boobs were weightless, I wouldn't have so many back problems. My back hurts. Oh, wait, hold on. I bet Dragon Pass is going to be like, my back hurts. Owie. Yes. She'll come after. You know what? You can draw more if I if I had an alien girlfriend, I'd probably just call her. You have to come. You have to come here for that to happen, Dragon Pass. <laughs> if I had an alien girlfriend, I'd probably just call her by her race name. That's rude. It's like, hey, sorry, come here. That's rude. Why are you so rude? Well, I call you Jewess. And Jews are basically aliens. They're a foreign species. <laughs> Don't hit me. <laughs> Don't hit me, please. <laughs> by, guys, by, but, uh, by the way, guys, I can't be a white nationalist despite my haircut because my girlfriend's Jewish. It doesn't work. Yes, that morality. But yeah, come, come <laughs> dude, just like, just go to Liara and be like, "Hey there, blueberries." What the fuck are we supposed to be doing? How about you bring those blueberries over here? Are they ripe enough yet? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, back alley entrance. To are the you just VIP ignoring my section. casual alien racism? You're an asshole all the time. <laughs> afterlife VIP area, lower mm -hmm. afterlife. So where there's the would VIP, the... there, there's like a back door. So in would that the be lower? No, that's in like the Omega Market. You go north from there to the back door after like VIP area. Okay, I didn't actually look at the map to see where we were going. I just looked at the map. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry. Go get me some of that blue juice. Am I echoing? Ba. Ba. Maybe it's because your, your mic's kind of low. Yeah. Uh, Let me fix it for you if you don't mind. Stop it. Okay. Blue milk, that is all. Blue milk. That sounds gross. Blue juice. Is that anything like blue waffle? <laughs> hey, Liara, your, your blue bear is looking pretty ripe today. Bring them on over here. I like blue bears. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why, that's why I ruined them for you by talking about <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, so let me tell you a story here, Naomi. Uh, Phoenix Wright. Hey, bouncer. What do you want? Yeah, it's name Jarut. Someone to get told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Thank you. So yeah, um, Phoenix Wright uh, in, in Japan came out on the Game Boy Advance, but because the Game Boy Advance was kind of dying while they were translating it, they made it into DS games for, uh, for the English release. In North oh, yeah. America, they came out on the DS. And they added like, like dual screen support and stuff, but it was whatever. Um, it's like, hey, come on over here. Did we just take like all of our armor off? I think we you did. Must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, it's, it's, we're going to a party. Like we have you to. Must pique her interest enough that yeah. she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to. And so there were DS games, right? And they had like a re-release on the 3DS. They had like a re-release on on the Wii. There was like a Wii version that you can use. Like you can like motion control objection with the remote in court. Um, but what they did, because they were like the first three games used the same Game Boy Advance engine. What they did was they remade all three games 
into a new Probably engine on the Switch, which is coming out like this year sometime. And they just took all three games and made them one game. They just put all the levels from all three games into one giant game. And what I want to see, I want to see them do that to Mass Effect. I missed like the middle part. What do you want to see? Are you, are you fucking kidding me? I, I can't listen to you and listen to this at the same time. Okay, and we'll just stop here for a second. Here, okay. So. I heard all of it, but the middle part of okay. what you want to have in Mass Effect. Okay. Phoenix Wright, Game Boy Advance, released on DS. Yes. Had, like, releases on the Wii, where you're like, objection point. Um, but they all use the same Game Boy Advance engine. They're just, like, remakes and, like, putting yes. them on new, new consoles. Yes. Okay. For the re-release, because it was at, like, 15, 15 years, the 15-year anniversary, they took the levels from all three of the games. So Phoenix Wright 1, 2, and 3. Remade them all in a modern engine and then push them all into one game. So like, it's not like you play Phoenix Wright 1, Phoenix Wright 2, and Phoenix Wright 3 all on the same disc. It's just one giant game. So as soon as you beat the final level of Phoenix Wright 1, it just goes to the next level. Oh. It's, it's like an ongoing story. Yeah. What I would like to see for like a massive, like let's say like for the, I think it's it's been 10 years for the first game now, maybe a little bit more. Let's say for like the 15 year, or, 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 like, the, or like the 10 years of Mass Effect 3, I want to see like a mo like an HD remake called Mass Effect Trilogy, and it just like on the PS4 and, and the Xbox One, and it's just HD updated with like the the complexity of Mass Effect One, with the action of Mass Effect Two and Three, mm -hmm. all in one giant game. I don't think I would want it in one giant game. That's that's what that's kind of what I want. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me. Or the PC. Yeah, PC as well. Of course, of course PC, of course. PC is kind of like a, a non-starter at this point. Everything goes in the PC. So we're going to try and seduce Morin so we can basically Shepherd, catch her in the act. One chance at this. Any mistake, and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. Yeah, the Witcher would be good too for that. All three. Thank you. I mean, I maybe that would be interesting. Easily, I don't know. You are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Yeah, I think if you're a pure paragon, you can romance her. Mm. Yeah, because she's like a pure. Yeah, she, she's basically like an Asari paladin. Yeah. It seems like. Do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. Expel 10 sounds terrible. She sounds amazing. How we expel here? this guy out of fucking airlock? She was a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. Would you see Mass Effect 1 and 3 modern graphics? Yeah. But I want Mass Effect 1's leveling up system. Tickets. It's too... It's, it's kind of shitty in this one compared to the first game. Mm -hmm. First game had so much more complexity. Come Don't. on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. Playing hard to get? Give it up, baby. I'm sold. You're not gonna intervene? I, I think that'll get you thrown out, won't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't start a fight. Uh, hi. I need help right yeah. now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? She can take care of herself. Yeah, I guess. What kind of help? Are there any I Solarians dancing with humans in this bar? She's hanging with Florid. He's if the so, worst of the worst. I want you to punch them no matter what. What? I don't care what the mission. We've got to keep the breed pure. Solarians? Yeah, the little, little dweeby amphibians. They're like, eh. What is she doing? Eh. They, like, their only racial trait is literally being fucking nerds. Game. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florence onto her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. Dev the human supremacist. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florence going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Flort, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. It sounds simple enough. 
Why can't you do it? He's a coward. I stare at monitors all day. I can't walk up and talk to a gang leader. I'd piss my pants and run away. I can't let Moira all die. It's just saying two words in a sentence. You can do that, right? Let's do it, I guess. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember. No, guys, it's less about being a human supremacist and more about the fact that Solarians are dweeby. Should do that now before I forget. Are you sure this is where you want to be? Yeah. So they're just kind of like little nerd, little nerdlings. I love everyone here. Something I can do for you, lady? It was Terminal Eternity, right? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. <laughs> Ruh -ruh. Actually, she's kind of like Dom. <laughs> I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit, I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. You did it. Thanks. You gotta go back to talk and get your reward. Hi again. I already said I love you. I said I love you. Hey, yeah, man. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Don't smoke in the club, you fucking asshat. Well, you're allowed to. It's the future. Who am I dancing with? Dance? Want to dance with the Bayera? Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. <laughs> Does that actually work as a pickup line? I don't fucking know! What the fuck is this? I was looking at her, <laughs> looking at her fucking dancing. She's like... This is why I made her dot super attractive, because she's so fucking awkward like, all the yeah, fucking dude. time. Is there a bar over there? This isn't a door. Who is this? Why is there so many people I can punch? Go off this way. <laughs> this isn't a bar <laughs> That's either. quite the dance, dude. Going this way. Definitely the zombie tool at night. Get out of here. Sweaty. So when I get Insults! Do you know anyone interesting? What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. Yeah, that was quite the dance, you dude. better be right. Listen up, everyone. We love having you here. So a round of drinks on the house. Hooray. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. Oh, she's had to basically attract attention to get her to notice you. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? What do you think of her? You and I want the same things. Do we? Don't mention Justicars. She will walk the fuck out. Yeah, I'll buy the check from a round of drinks. Hooray! Go to the water tap, get some water. Um. If you think Samara is stuff, you can always hang with her daughter instead. Um, we know what she likes in art. It was that 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 uh, Elcor sculptor. Mm -hmm. I know she likes that band. Yep, Maybe, there's a band. Probably. Yeah. Let's say art. Do you know What's... anything about art? <laughs> I fucking love talking about you. just a cars. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. Here's a, a, this is an alien hipster here, guys. Sitting in a gallery. Oh yeah, yeah, she likes Vania, the movie she wants to watch. Do you know Vania? Or My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. But there you go, you know, Expel 10. I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. This is They're in concert soon. Dumb. This is this is not how actual romantic conversations go. There are ways to enhance that. You know? Halex. 
What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. What do we say now? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. Is it like standing when against travel, skinhead as a Jew? Um, liberating. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you ADD conversation. Yeah, dude. The surest expression of power. I don't know. Be the strongest, you have the power. That's certainly true. Among children, whoever wants it the most is willing to do anything for it. Has the power. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby, and I want you alone. I eat. So, would you have gone with her? No. Why not? Assuming you didn't know what she was. Like assuming, like just no. That was like a stupid. If it like was regular like, Naomi. If it was didn't. literally that exact same conversation, I've been like, the fuck, the fuck are you doing? Hey, Marth. Have a Halix if you want, but wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? Oh wait! Look, look out her window. You know, for a shitty station, that's actually like, like, like a nice view. You yeah. know, I am an AI character one. Engage romantic dialogue string three. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Oh, it's like a giant Krogan. Yeah, shit. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win. Don't mind us, we're just looking around your place. You stay over there. This is a damn big apartment too. I was into Doom for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better and he's going to die. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt. I mean, I life. could, but I'm probably you, not going to do that morality. You and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? How does she know that we're named Shepard? I think we told her that. Did we? People Station just blow up. right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. What do you want to do? Because you're not renegade enough to do I'm the Stronger. And you get like, like a dominance battle with her. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Oh, did we just, we just tip our hand? Maybe. into my eyes and tell me you want me tell me you'd kill for me anything I want you don't have enough I want you I can't no Naomi womp anything. this is fucking creepy as shit I'm actually getting really creeped out here <laughs> shit Marin. Oh shit. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother. This is terrible you voice made your acting. Long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin. I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. So yeah, do you want more? No, your fuck, team I Samara? want some more. Shit, I don't want a super evil fucking... Like, shit. She's just straight up evil. Ow. Oh, Jesus, that, that strut, dude. It's like, time to fuck my own daughter. Why? Why with the incest jokes? Why? 
<laughs> Why not? Why? get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now. I think so too. I think so too, morality. Shit, dude. Let's go. I wonder if there was a better ending if maybe if you could be, if you had enough um, paragon to do Oh, we unlocked a new uh Okay. Come for her. We have done Jack's quest, yeah. You were reasonably surprised when it turned out Jack was a girl, huh? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Jack is a boy's name. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Since you killed Morinth, can I tell you something about her? Yeah, you might as well tell us what we missed now. Cause I, I did know that you could you could like take Morinth and she would like take her mother's place and like wear her armor and like pretend to be her. And then you could also start a relationship with Morinth and then she would kill you. And you couldn't complete the game. Because when you got to the sex scene at the end of the game, you'd just die. <laughs> and that'd be your ending. You can sex her, but she kills you. Yeah, yeah. People come to places such as this seeking a better so life, and when they get here, they find this: vibrant people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. Hmm. Hey, Jetaloo. We're having fun, man. Playing some Mass Effect. Jack as a character is shit. Completely repulsive, but her arc is a good one. Blood. So yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like we're missing something by not having a full Paragon or Renegade, you know? No, no, I mean, I'm not blaming you. Like, obviously it's fine. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. Ah, oh, you little wieners. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind... I hoped you might You're consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy Jack's people to take care of Jack's character feels better than we're gonna get Shepard, yeah. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. Okay, what does this guy need? I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? Find someone else to do your dirty work. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. We're leaving. Come find us if you change your mind. You want to do his quest? Eh. Come on, it's experience. Eh. Guys, convince the enemy to do it. <laughs> Ah, goddamn it, little wiener solarians. I'm a humble How water filter salesman. Do it, pussy. How do you run? I don't remember. Isn't that like a trigger? Like you hold a button? Do it or something, you know, it'll be a fego. No. Go work for space assange. Nah. Oh, we're leaving now? Yep. All right, let's get out of here. It's a huge station. You guys ever do Knights of the Old Republic? You can see the grammar for this trilogy there and there. No, we have not. Old A to sprint. That answered my question. There it is. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, there's some screens. side quests where I'm just like, eh. You don't want to do like the run around fetch thing. Maybe you should do it off the show just to get the experience, but yeah. Okay, this is this is worse than than like the the loading elevator in Mass Effect One. All the elevators had like big long loading screens, and and you have to just like listen to to news while you're in them. I was okay with that. You could actually Commander listen to stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, but this this is worse. New yeah. message. Thanks, Kelly. 
There's a new message. And that's the I was on it. Uh, if it made me sick, the doctor told me allow. The doctor knows Jacob, so he can tell you this. Oh, she she was one of the 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 retarded women's. Because they were on a planet where all the women got dumb. Right. Yeah, Jacob's dad did it. God damn it. Uh, what are you doing now? Oh, you're second ed. I don't know. Oh, you can change the outfits. Cool. Mm. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what? Future elevators should also be showers. So you get into one and it just like automatically cleans you so you can do something while you're on the way. Just, just like technology, just like space. Future. You ain't gotta, you gotta take your clothes off, you just come out of the elevator clean. You'd be efficient. You don't think so? Do you wanna go take a cab to Liars? That's a DLC, if you wanna do it though, you can. Just the right one. Thane, Garrus, and Kasumi all have... Uh, they're all in the same the place. Yeah, they're yeah. on the Citadel. Okay, we'll go do this. Diva thinks you should be gashing Where's Fuck off. No, I don't. Seth Green as Joker was a good casting choice? Yeah, it was. It was, yeah. So Liara's is a, a DLC, but do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, we'll just do it, sure. But I think DLCs what's are... What's the point of getting the DLC if we're not going to do it? Because they're longer quests, so we might be here a bit longer doing it. And you're falling asleep already. One hour in, you're fucking snoozing. Alright, let's land on, on Ilios here. Get into the old Warthog and drive around. <laughs> do you miss the Warthog from the first game? I don't miss fighting with it, but I do miss driving it around. Yeah, it was one of those things that, like, it wasn't good, but the, the game going without it kind of feels like it's missing a little bit, you I'm know? I'm going to take Garrus and uh, Liara along. Not you don't Liara. have Liara? Tally. Okay. Like the original crew? Yeah. See you later, Riggory. Come back Bye. soon, man. Thanks for being here. You want to just wait? Whoa. You got eight... Yeah, Garrus got half his face blown off. Forgot about that. Not enough. Okay. You only have AI hacking to put it in. Because you don't have uh, energy drain yet. He's called the Warthog. He hasn't called the... Oh, it's called the Mako. Oh, that's right. Warthog is... From Halo, yeah. Warthog's from Halo. Yep. I call it... No, the Mako. You know what I mean? I already know what you meant. You just fucking... Mm. Liara's office, okay. Let's go see Liara. Yeah, but don't we have to take a taxi to Liara's? What the fuck are we doing? I don't know. Let's, let's go see our scientist waifu. I think we are supposed to be like the cannon. And what is this? Yeah. Take, take a cab to Liara's. Yeah, go to the docking yard, take your cab to Liara's apartment, yeah. Why do we need to take a cab when we could just walk there? Because that's her, her, her apartment, not her office. Yeah. But yeah, I think Liara's supposed to be the cannon romance. I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gay. Like, like, you can romance a whole bunch. You, you, can, you can even romance Garrus and Tally if you want. They're a bit harder to do, though. But um, like, like VR is the the canon romance for for the series. Um, I will I will say though, like, if you ever want humanity in real life to discover aliens, just tell the Japanese that that we've already found aliens on our distant planet. That that where the males are just tentacle monsters and the females are anime schoolgirls. Yeah. That's just their species. Yeah. And they will build us faster than light travel, like fucking that. Probably. Yeah. They'll do it immediately, dude. It's the best way. Uh, where is the cabs? Anyway? Literally the other side of the map. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. The Japanese are good people. Yes, they are, I would say. I think about a juice. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> I 
maybe this way. Yeah, it's behind you? No, it's literally on the other side of the map. Oh, sorry, dude, sorry. Good fucking God, I fucking Dev. Know. I, fucking know. I literally just told you that. You don't fucking listen because you're a goddamn <laughs> fucking fagoo. Naomi. Fuck yeah. I think it's behind you, maybe? No, it's not. I'm, I'm being dumb. Just turn around. Naomi. Turn around. Just walk. Stop. Walk in the game. Fuck you. <laughs> Shepard like rapidly turns around, just surprise shits herself. Oops. You literally just spit like all yeah, over me. Yeah, I know. Me. You're disgusting. Oh, sounds like an awful thing I mean, legalize. listen, when you've been in space for a long time, sudden movements, you'll just evacuate all bowels. That's what weightlessness does to you, dude. Yeah. You know how it is. Sure about that? No. <laughs> I'm just talking out of my ass, because you haven't gotten to the place we're supposed to be going to yet, and I'm just trying to fill time in the goddamn episode. I hope you die. <laughs> okay, listen, give Thax a... Give him a full refund. No, it doesn't matter if he doesn't have the receipt. I want my money back for this box of cereal. Name was like, okay, dear. So fucking dumb. Yeah. Do you know anything about wait? This is only weightfulness. <laughs> <laughs> that planet looks real nice, huh? Look at that shit. She's pink. You know the story. Find your friend violently evacuating from both ends. Not the best time to see if they want to play Scrabble. <laughs> okay, who are we taking to? Uh, maybe Garrison Tally because they're the yeah, they're the OG. Heck yeah. Maybe maybe Liara's bringing us to her place to uh, celebrate a sorry Christmas. Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Wait, is the Sari's... We got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. Hold on. Liara's... What's going on? ...apartment's been fucked. Mm-hmm. This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. <laughs> you can't do that. We're just walking in. Already done. Who, uh, who is this? Do we know her? Yeah, she works for, um, Alien Security. Right. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. Oh, she's a Spectre, too. Most famous okay, operatives. well, that's why. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara oh, was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tissoni. Damn, dude. the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. Shit, guys. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. <laughs> you fucking dick. I, when, when you're, uh, well, first of all, she probably has a blue dick. But when you're, uh, when you're a specter, you, you can afford to be a dick. The didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid. But clever. Liara had a barrier on in her own home. Mm -hmm. Damn. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Helium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I <laughs> haven't found anything useful yeah. for tracking her down yet. Heels, man. To Sony better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. So it seems like our old girlfriend's gotten into some trouble. With the Shadow Broker. With the Shadow Broker. With the... Was someone sniping like from across the way there at one mm -hmm. of the other buildings? It's possible. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Oh, I guess Liara still misses us. Well, yeah, we more or less were dating, and she fucking thought that we, we were, were dead. dead. So, yeah. uh, yeah. 
So Torvar's going to play Mass Effect 3 when we start it. Nice, nice. We'll have some fun playing it together. She's getting good use out of all that education. Huh. She has, a, she has a nice place, man. Like, this is pretty big. She got jellyfish? I She's doing good for herself. I want a house with jellyfish. I don't want jellyfish in the house. What? Why not? The picture yeah, just deserved to live out in the ocean. It must be key to your I have a big ocean in the house. It show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. All right. These things must be worth a fortune. Let's find Prothean objects. The jellyfish are her kids. That's those are just those are just a sorry bit. No, it's like when you turn your kids into birds in Stardew Valley. Oh, yeah, I guess, huh? Jesus. Yeah, you don't keep them in a fucking tank. Yeah, man. I gotta say, guys, I gotta say, though. Um, it's Ilos. Oh, yeah, Ilos was the final level in the last game. Um, the, I said, I said a, a sorry Christmas for some reason. <laughs> I, I do... I don't think we have to celebrate Christmas. Probably not. Oh. Vasir, I've got something here. Looks like a grenade, actually. Backup disc. Yeah. Let's try it on her terminal. All right. Stop. Oh. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sigat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. Was that the guy that you didn't do the side quest for? Maybe. No, office. his name is Ish. Area Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. All right, Liara. So this she found something. The Shadow Clipping. Clippers people already tried to Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Okay. See, I'm pretty sure the the Asari don't actually celebrate Christmas. I'm pretty sure I just pulled that right in my ass. In fact, um, the Asari celebrate the birth of the space dragon from the blue virgin egg. Third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have <laughs> missed the party. <laughs> oh shit! Liara's in there. Not anymore. She's not. Everybody's a little bit dead sometimes. <laughs> the World Trade Center got blown the fuck she's up. Dead. Yep. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way hey, up. Hey, Mr. Cheese Just is hosting. Welcome aboard, dude. Ba, 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 da, da. Ba, 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 da, da. These, so. Come here. Can you help? What happened? Uh, Dude, I don't fucking. Can you help any of these guys or? Fuck off. You're just like, I'm not helping anyone. Oh shit, Mr. Cheesy, have you not played Mass Effect yet? Oh, that sucks, man. Sorry that we're gonna spoil it for you. We're like halfway through Mass Effect Two. We're on disc two. Oh shit, Stalin. Welcome back to Game Boomers. Gotta resub. Barrier Frontier employee. I may need to turn down the uh, the audio now. Because we're in the shooty zones. Is that a geth? Oh no! It sounds like like one of those like helpful holograms that like they're like they're they're VIs. They're not AIs. They're not like real AIs. Yeah, so it sounds like a, a VI. A VI is is basically for those of you who don't know, a uh, a Microsoft paperclip assistant. That's basically all they are. So I hear you're trying to get around the Citadel. Whoops. Oh, are you gonna stealth up? Didn't mean to. Oh well, there we are. Plan to play it this year sometime. Well, Mystic Cheese, we're doing it. Um, we're we're doing it reasonably consistently every Monday now. So maybe you can catch up and join us and play with us.
Oh, fuck. That guy got splattered. Jesus. Oh, we're past an hour. Do you want to take a break? You okay? No, I'm good. Okay. Hack the ATM. Get some money out of it. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 Good job. Jesus. Hack, hack, hack. How's Mass Effect do? Pretty good, St uh, Stalin. Were you here for a Mass Effect 1 playthrough last year? The bomb. I found a military-grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Vizier. I'm at the Barrier Frontiers office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Here, let's actually take a break. I, I kind of want to go to the washroom, if you don't mind. Okay. Can you just hang out here for a minute? Yep. Figure out how to crouch. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back for more Mass Effect on <coughs> my show.